Hello and welcome back to The Broke Watchmaker. I hope the information in this video helps you on your watchmaking journey. Today we're going to look at how to redress screwdrivers. This is a cheap set that I picked up from Amazon. I think it was around $13 and it came with some flatheads and some Phillips heads. We're going to focus on just redressing the flat heads. As you can see on most of these, they're pretty damaged. I've been using them for a while and haven't really done much to redress a lot of them. I don't use a whole lot of them all that often. You can see on some of these that the edges are bent away and not very useful. So what we'll do in this video is go over the way that I redress the screwdrivers in a different video, I will also go about how to regrind screwdrivers to make them work better. One of the interesting things about screwdrivers is that they're not designed to actually bottom out on the screw. What they're meant to do is grab the edges of the slot and turn it that way. That way you get a good wedge that's inside there and it's a lot less likely for it to slip out while you're using it. So for this first one, it's the largest. I'll just go from largest to smallest. And what I do is I just try to get the angle as close as possible on a... 600 grit you can see here the edge needs to be kind of widened out a little bit so i'll widen out the edge and then go back and try to get the edge as flat as possible and then polish it with the ceramic this helps to make it so it won't mar up any of the screws that you have this one is pretty much finished. We'll move on to the next one that we have here. It's the second largest. And we'll basically do the same thing. The goal here is not to make them work like a Bergeon or a Horatech set. This is just to make them a little more useful and clean looking so they won't mar up any of the screws that you have. My whole technique here is just using my fingers and the microscope to make sure that the edges are as flat as possible. And while looking at the edges, making sure that pretty much all of the surface has been touched. Some of them are, as you can see, they're kind of half done. But as long as the what's going to touch the screw itself has been polished up, it should be fine. I'll work through all of these, making sure that they're pretty much as good as they're going to be for this. Make sure that the tips are flat enough. You don't want them to be sharp. Because if they're sharp, then they're going to be very weak for one and most likely they will just break away and probably not even catch in your screwdriver. Oop, a little bit of a magnetic on that. I'll demagnetize it later. It's not a big deal when redressing. In fact, if you are facing north-south, you're more likely to magnetize your screwdrivers anyway, so it's always a good idea after you have redressed them to go ahead and demagnetize all of them. This can be a bit of a tedious process, but it's imperative that you make sure and get all of the broken or damaged edges cleaned up so that you don't have any slippages when you're working on a very, very tiny screw. This is especially important when you're working on very small screws to make sure that you don't really have any problems. 
as we work through these, the ceramic stone will get dirty and I've cleaned it up with a bit of alcohol on a paper towel or a some kind of a rag that will help pull all the metal out of it. In order to make sure that everything's clean, it is good to have some alcohol sitting nearby. I use 99.9% .9 and just to make sure to clean off your diamond plates pretty often. This is actually a, a triangle piece with three different stones. One's 320 grit, one is 600 grit, and then the ceramic stone for polishing. This came off of a knife sharpening kit. I just took the stone off of the kit itself and I use it manually. In a future video I will have a dedicated set of diamond plates that I will use with a 3D printed fixture and one of the screwdriver holders for sharpening the screwdrivers and that will help keep the angle precise on both sides but in this case like I said we're just cleaning them up as they are they work fine as long as you pay attention to what you're doing and try not to slip make sure that the head of the screwdriver is down into the slot and it's not too loose with these if you don't have the proper uh, sharpening stones you can get some sandpaper and put it on something that's very flat as long as it is a high grit sandpaper but these kits are not all that expensive I got this kit for Christmas a couple of years ago and it has worked really well the cool thing about this kit is that the plates are actually replaceable so once they become too worn down you can just buy another one for like ten dollars and use it until it's no longer usable you can see on this smaller screwdriver it takes a little bit more finesse to make sure that it's staying flat along the edge of that stone and then you also on these small ones want to hold it down as close to the tip as possible because they're so small it's possible that it could break and it's possible that you bend it. The next time you use a screwdriver, just pay attention when you put it into the slot of the screw. If it was has the ability to move back and forth, then it's not dressed properly. Or it's not the right size screwdriver for the screw. In that case, what you'll need to do is take the end off, flatten it down, and then redress so that there's no burrs that are kicking up to damage your screw. Well, that's about it for this video if you have any questions please leave a comment and I will try to answer as many as I can go ahead and like the video subscribe if you felt that this helped you out in your watchmaking journey share it with other people and we'll see you next time